Good afternoon, you guys. We are uh, flying solo today. That means it's just us. Uh, we got sent off to go do a few things. Um, Ashton is also flying solo. She's on the other side of the farm seeing canola. And then there's three drills uh, still together uh, down on another corner of the farm. So we're just loading up here. Hopefully in a few days we can reunite and uh, then we can go head to head with the deer. Unfortunately, due to circumstances out of our control, we had to separate. So if you're wondering why there's a high clearance sprayer over there trying to fly away with his booms, it's because Frankel's is there and he's changing depth on the drill while I'm loading and Lee is loading and then since we're done, we will go and help him uh, finish changing that. It's a beautiful day, 27 degrees. It's a good day to go seeding. We're seeding Durham still. And uh, I think seeding progress is around 75, 80%. So we are making pretty good time. Uh, so yeah, I'll keep you up to date as I'm going here. How about that time when you're trying to change depth and these uh, Borgo opener movers, they don't want to move very well? We have a big wrench. Oh. That's that's not moving. Oh, I don't understand. It's not in here. No, it's good. No. I'm uh, actually might just be hooking there. Actually, it could might just be hooking. Oh. So, uh, like there is an update. You can put an update on these. Uh, the new XTCs have a completely different design. They have a pin design, a lot more slop. A lot more easier to move, stick a pin in. But these older ones, oh, they're a bear cat to move. You can try loosen this bolt off and they just get all seized up in here and it's just not super duper fun. And yet you'll get the odd one that you can squeeze together and just move it easy. But about 97.9%, .9 you gotta use a hammer and a wrench to get them to move. And believe me, that's hard on the hands. So after about a half an hour with a bunch of people, you should have your uh, dr one drill set. That's the goal. All right, we're ready to go. I got my inch and a quarter wrench, which slides over those puppies and the manliest hammer you guys have ever seen uh, <laughs> to help pound them. So we've now pounded our brains out and uh, we're finally set and ready to rock and roll. Every time this, every year about this time, I'm like, gosh, I gotta put the update on there. Man, I really need to put that update on there. But the problem is it's like, 200 bucks an opener or something. So you're gonna spend all this money, for all this money for like three times out of the year that you probably change it. And of those three times, there's no exaggeration, you hate your life. You're like, gosh, I don't know why I didn't spend the freaking money. And then once you finish seeding, you're like, man, I'm sure I'm glad I did not spend that money. <laughs> so, uh, we just got shifted off here. Ashton hopped on the case. Uh, Ashton got stuck with old Johnny, and we're a long ways apart, long ways. So that is definitely the downside, and my biggest concern of ever splitting drills off is if one has trouble or gets stuck. So that's unfortunate. So I'm gonna hop in my pickup here, which is I'm doing, and I'm flying down the road to try and find some toe straps, and I'm gonna try and yard it out myself, um, because the other three drills are also a very long ways away. And uh, so that's our plan. I'll let you know how that goes. Well, we're just about there, you guys. Oh, load kill. We're in the field. We're just trying to get across it here. It's a little bouncy. And hopefully I don't get myself into a situation with my pickup truck. How the heck am I going to get out there? This is the end of the road. I'm going to grab my strap, which is just a small little strap because uh, all the big straps are on the drills and they're a long ways away. So uh, we're going to risk it for the biscuits with a little strap. I love risking it for the biscuits anyway. This, that's, that's my middle name. So it's not stuck very bad. Look at that little strap, eh? <laughs> um, what I'm going to try and do here. So this is hilltop, awesome. I'm gonna do the old fashioned unhook. Then I'm gonna try and come in on an angle like this and yank it up this hill. 
my straps only 30 feet long so doesn't give me a lot of options all right guys we're fully unhooked we got all of our valves closed basically just to make sure all of our openers stay up the last thing we want is for those to go down so uh, as you notice that my jack is not down because we're not even to bother to put the jack down that makes no sense it would just sink in the mud fold over break over we're literally gonna drop this thing on the ground we already have a buckle or strap hooked to the cha safety chain so we're ready for it to drop and then I'm gonna hook on to that strap and we're hopefully we're gonna get tugged out on some dry ground and I'm gonna yank it out of here I don't like doing this I know a lot of you guys are like Mike why don't you just do that more often you don't have to stop two drills well if you watch this happen you'll be like oh you're right Mike you shouldn't do that too often it's kind of hard on stuff you're right it's hard on stuff I don't like doing it but under these circumstances we don't actually have a choice so we gotta get it done we're fully unhooked as you can see we're gonna hop in this thing and we're gonna oh I guess I should show you around here eh? see again tracks don't like mud you guys look at that basically sitting right up on top of this of the mud right right All right let's just drive away that hitch is gonna drop there we go that easy now we're gonna go up for a little spin here we're gonna get a little bit of mud off these tracks oh yeah come on come on come on old Johnny let's go Oh, we're still shifting, okay. 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 Whoa! Now we just did our victory lap. I forgot how uh, slow shifting old Johnny is. I didn't realize I was going to get to the other end of the field before we got fully shifted up. <laughs> ah, let's get this drill out of here. Becky, Becky. Becky, Becky, Becky. You're like, man, Mike, that's kind of a harsh angle. Yep, it is. Things are going to happen. Let me tell you. Okay, I think that's about as far as I want to go. All right, we got our little teeny, teeny six-inch strap here. Oh, just so you guys know, this strap is rated for about 120,000 pounds. And uh, the card isn't full, so we would probably be around that 110 is my guess. So, uh... Let's get this done. Let's get this done. All right, we're gonna slowly drive away here. Oh, easy there, oh. Easy, 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 easy. And my safety chain came unhooked. Well, better that way when, when I'm tugging on it really hard. Let's back this puppy back up. Let's get another grab. All right, no messing around this time. She ain't coming off of there. Oh yeah, things are happening now. It's go-go juice time. Go-go juice. One more time, round two. Don't fail me, little strap. Don't fail me. Notice I'm not jerking on it, I'm not jerking. There it is. There she comes. There she comes, guys. Mosquito. Bit my arm. Bit me arm. Now, the trick is you gotta stop and keep pressure on this uh, drill. See, that's actually not what you want to do. There it is. Come on. Put it in park now, maybe? There. Just like that. You might be like, man, Mike, why are you leaving pressure on that toe strap? How the crap are you supposed to get it off? Look, I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about getting my jack down. You know what I mean? This is going to be a two-hander. Come on. There, Jack is down. Now I'm gonna back up. Can you walk a tight rope? Ooh, she's pretty tight. Oh, I can stand on this thing. 
Woo! Whoa, whoa. Mike shouldn't do that. I know I shouldn't do a lot of things. There we go. I loosened it off. Ho ho! All right, let's get this strap rolled up. Okay. Let's hook up. Oh, look at that. Where the heck is my hitch now? Thanks, John Deere. Oh, what? I can put a camera on? I can put a camera on? It should come standard with a camera. Hey guys, it's my second attempt here. I'm so close. I just have, this is my visibility. Ah, I can't see nothing, you're right. You can't either. You know, you know what's the worst part about this whole procedure? Is the mosquitoes. Holy crap, twice. Twice I actually lifted off the ground. They picked me off the freaking ground. Twice! <laughs> um, okay, so I got it all hooked up here. Uh, I can't quite remember how some of these doubles are always on the left, doubles are on the left, doubles on the left. This one doesn't have any on it, so now I'm confused. So. Yeah, I got a, I got a 50-50 chance. I, I, I got this. Oh yeah, we got fan and our openers work. We got this. All right, I'm gonna throw that little strap on the back of this cart, so now she actually has a strap, so uh, she can get this done now if uh, this happens again. Otherwise, it's, yeah, that whole strap thing was a whole oversight. Okay, let's go throw it on. Well, thanks, guys. And uh, maybe I'll go seat in here for a little while. Run old Johnny again. <laughs> Oh yeah. Thanks for holding out guys. You guys have yourself a great rest of your afternoon. Who made those ruts? That's what I want to know. <laughs> oh look, there's a corner post again. Oh, how I missed you. <laughs> oh, come on. You gotta have a laugh sometimes, you guys. And once you can laugh at yourself, at least in my life, like, life is hilarious. So, we just made a couple passes with Ashton's drill here, and uh, the reason why we only made a couple is because she's getting awfully low on furt. And uh, because we just happen to be quite spread out right now, it's definitely straining the trucks, and that's not their fault, and that's not entirely our fault. It's just some stuff happened that was out of our control, and we had to split up a little bit, but we are trying our best to get all back together. So I'm gonna run back to my drill because that's where my lunch is, that's where my cell phone charger is, my cell phone is probably only at about 12% juice. That's the reason why we kind of stopped doing the videos. I made a few pass with old Johnny here, and old Johnny sure likes this drill. Up and down the hills, up and down the hills, no problems whatsoever. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna go and swap out Ashton out. She's gonna come back to this one, and uh, I would just stay at this one if I was maybe uh, planning ahead a little bit via my lunch. But uh, that's how it goes. So, see you later. And back we go. All right, we're back on Old Red here. Um, it's definitely louder. 1700 RPM to 1700 RPM on the Old Johnny. Old Red is louder. But Old Red is a little smoother. So, give me another day here, guys, and uh, let me meet up with uh, Brian's drill. Hopefully we can merge together, and even if we don't, I will put together uh, pros and cons of uh, this red beast and uh, we'll have some fun but as of right now I think I'm going to conclude the day and you guys have yourself an awesome one